But let's get back to Bill Burr. Yesterday, we watched a video of him going balls to the wall with some crazy takes. And there's more. He's still he's still daggering with uh, some truth bombs here where he talks about Hillary but, Clinton. But like they work for those 1,200 or whatever there is. They work for those people. They work for the people that literally dump shit into the water supply. If you and I dump shit into a water supply, we are fucking terrorists and we are going to jail for the rest of our lives. They do it. They pay a fine. They don't clean up. The government makes us pay for it because those are the people, those fucking assholes are the ones that sign their goddamn checks. And every once in a while, you have a politician who will actually try and stand up against those cunts. And that person is immediately labeled a communist or a socialist. For whatever reason, liberals and conservatives, you know, people that are loyal to those parties. I'm losing my fucking mind, dude. He is spitting so much. And I'm just saying, listen, this is my new fetish. Please, directly in my mouth, sir. Okay? What the fuck? Just believe it. I mean, you look at Bernie Sanders and the shit that that guy wanted to do. Like, the Democrats literally boxed that guy out and gave the nomination to Hillary Clinton. They've done it to him twice. And the, the liberals on the left spoke and said, this is the person we want. And they fucking ignored it. Because all of them are on the fucking take. Just like all the ones on the right are on the take. Probably except for a few a handful of them. So that's basically... For the record, this might be new to some of you, but Bill Burr has always been like this. I've literally told you that Bill Burr has been like this. I've just never seen him spoke. Uh, I, I've never, I've never actually seen him like speak this openly about it, though, ideologically speaking. And um, he's, but he's always been like this. He's always talked about how like fucked up uh, capitalism is without like mentioning capitalism as much or socialism or communism. He just, he's, Bill Burr is always, always says shit like this. What it is, you know, it is what it is. What the fuck are you going to do? Um, whoever organizes the thing someday, who's way smarter and knows how to do it, I will join that to try and fight it. But until they do, I'm not going on a Reddit page and just sit there talking about gloom and doom with a bunch of other people with no solutions because you slowly go insane. So, uh, you know, I think the only way to combat this type of stuff is you really have to work on yourself to become a better person, a more empathetic person. And, you know, as I'm sitting there telling some, somebody a squat twat on this fucking thing. But like, um, you know, all of this shit that they stir up your feelings about other countries or, or, or the racist that Trump stirs up, you know what I mean? These fucking like just straight up people that walk around saying the fucking N word and shit. Like you really have- These are verbatim bars, dude. Okay, these are verbatim designated. I mean, I don't own these words, obviously, but these are exactly the same thoughts that I've had and have talked about so many fucking times. It's so good. You have to try and not listen to those people and get caught under their fucking bullshit because they're, they don't, they don't have your best interest. And, you know, Hillary Clinton, I don't think there was, there's no difference. She's just as evil as Trump. She's just smarter. <laughs> She just knows how to say what she's saying, you know, but you know what she's doing, okay? Look, you know, I don't want to get into this shit, but like, you know, that shit that people are saying online going, hey, so you got the Epstein guy and you got the person that booked the island, but what about that list of people of all the people that went there? And they're protecting those people and they got rid of the people that were going to expose them. I mean, I mean, it's, it's really not conspiracy theory. It's kind of right there if you want to see it. Um, yeah, it's, and you know, liberals love a guy that I got to be careful. So I don't get in trouble, but like liberals love a guy that like went there allegedly like 20 fucking times. They still love the guy. They, they love a guy that drone bombed weddings. So like, I don't see them as liberal progressive fucking people. I mean, he's blasting Obama too. People, uh, especially men tend to have their final ideological consolidation during the middle age crisis. And some take it with more dignity than others. And as a contrast between two people in the same profession going through the phase, you got Chappelle and you got Burr. I mean, I think I think Bill Burr is on his George Carlin arc, whereas Dave Chappelle went in the exact opposite direction and like heavily leaned into the the mania that comes along with being deified. You know what I mean? I, I think like what you're what you're talking about, 
I wouldn't say is like a middle age arc or anything like that. There comes a point in people's lives when you are so famous and so rich and have so much complete total financial security that you either you either go the route of like, how dare anybody criticize me? I'm sick and tired of this shit. I hate it. I'm going to I'm going to do anything and everything I can to like destroy my enemies and plenty of it the easier route the logical route is the one where you have capital and therefore align with other capital owners and do everything in your power to continue just uh eroding the part of you that once uh recognized that you yourself were a worker and once wanted a better future for others you know what i mean dave Chappelle's most overrated stand-up comedian of all time he's not even in the top 10 that's that's false that's crazy you're out of your mind Dave Chappelle literally is is uh, one of the greatest comedians of our generation up until his last stuff. That's crazy to say. I'm sorry. Is Bill Burr your favorite comedian? I mean, Bill Burr's always been in my top. Wait, uh, you're saying uh, Bill Burr went the cancel culture comedy route? He literally has talked both sides on the cancel culture issue. I've heard him openly mention the cancel culture is not real shit. As I have also heard him mention that cancel culture is fucking annoying, like he talked about in his uh latest special but the reality is that like he he doesn't make it his entire identity you know what i mean and i think that's fine i mean i talk about cancel culture too cancel culture fucking sucks nobody likes it it's not a real thing but nobody fucking likes it everybody does it nobody likes it okay i've always enjoyed you i think you're a great comic but i thought tonight maybe we would like sort of share a cry together because i think we have something <laughs> in common which is that we think political correctness may be ruining comedy or at least threatening it. Because I know you've had your problems with that. And you, you did a routine recently about how women like it rough. And then, of course, the internet police got all over you. Well, I gotta be honest with you, I didn't notice if that happened because I don't pay attention to it. I don't list, read oh, it comments. Happened. Yeah, they hated you. Yeah, but who did? <laughs> The well, haters. This is, my, this is my thing. Who? Like the 20 haters. people? Like 20 people with a hashtag can get right. like a news story going now. And I just, I just don't think. There's no problem. Like the amount of times somebody tells a joke and they'll say that there's a controversy at a comedy club. That's funny is they'll show the clip on the news and like you hear the crowd laughing. So the comic is basically guilty of telling a joke that worked. Right. You know what well, I mean? And then if you put it on the news, yeah, it's going to be a completely different uh, context. But I mean, I don't go on stage and worry about what people are thinking. Right. It's a really weird time where people are just bringing this up all the time like this is a major problem. I haven't, I'm not experiencing it. I think it's like a half a dozen stories and like usual they're trying to act like, you know, the, the sky is falling. It isn't. It's a right. fun time. Come out to a comedy club. You know, you'll have a good time. It's all jokes. Right. Um, and to undergo that, I mean, Chris Rock says he won't play colleges anymore because they're too politically correct. Um, you just ignore them. It's like three days. They flip out for three days. They try to bully you into an apology. Well, you can't ignore them when they're right in the audience and you're playing to them. You tell them to shut the fuck up. Yeah, believe it's me. It's a comedy you know what? show. That's all you do. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it, it's like... Sweetheart, I do it here every week. It's, uh, it's you don't manufactured have to tell me. strategic outrage. Right. Then forget it. Let's not have a good cry together. <laughs> but as long Is that as not what you wanted as long out as of that? As long as we're on the subject. <laughs> Look at him. He's just fucking bouldering him. Yeah, that's not what you want out of that. Everyone has shortcomings. Everyone has uh, what I like to call privilege blind spots. Okay, there's an intersectionality of privilege. Most of you don't recognize it. The best thing you can do is work on those privileges and recognize that sometimes you might have a blind spot for things. It's a it's a fundamental part of my my commentary and my belief system. Talk about it all the time. Cancel culture ultimately is just uh, the weaponization of of those weaknesses those blind spots and those imperfections as though like the individual doing the canceling or whatever doesn't have those of course they do and no one is infallible no one is perfect in a weird way it is hyper capitalism because the wokeness or woke culture is a commoditization of social justice and it's the expectation that like individuals are supposed to behave like corporate brands it's another way to dull political perspectives Obviously, on the one side, it dulls like reactionary political perspectives, which I'm in favor of, but also it will oftentimes be used against people who speak out against the current hierarchy like myself, but it doesn't really matter. Why? Because most people still recognize you can only be canceled by your own side, but you can only be canceled by your own fans. As long as you still have fans, as long as you're still churning out content, as long as you're still 
you know, doing whatever the fuck you were doing that, that uh, got you to the place you were at, you're not going to really get canceled unless you get canceled by the government, in which case you've done a crime and you're probably going to jail. So that's it. I also personally talk about how on the left, we should try to conduct ourselves in a more open-minded capacity because this kind of like, oh no, I'm going to immediately pull up the receipts and go this you or whatever the fuck that ultimately makes us seem unapproachable. And that's no way to bring up the numbers in your ranks. You always want to be trying to grow your community and trying to get people to join your side. If you think that your battle is just, if you truly believe in what you say, then you want others to also believe in what you're saying and you want others to fight for you. And that will never be accomplished if you're constantly in the business of screaming at people who would otherwise be your fucking allies. Bill Burr is a great example of this. 